I love staying hydrated. Almost as much as I love coffee and co-op. The video that you just tuned in to watch. Hi, I'm Nathan. Uh, we're at level 13. My quest to continue to have unusual intros for my videos continues on. That's right. I'm going to do that. Today, I'm actually just drinking my coffee straight up black. I've got a nice little cold brew, my little penguin mug. I haven't put anything in it today because I used my protein chocolate milk to have a bowl of cereal for breakfast. And I don't normally eat cereal for breakfast. Today was a special day because I uh, I took yesterday off. You know, I just wasn't feeling it. I wanted to watch some uh, the, the uh, dream hack tournament that was going down. And I just told myself, I said, Nathan, why am I... Why am I doing that, right? Why am why am I putting myself in this situation? You know what I mean? So, I said, hey, screw it. I'm just gonna have myself, have myself a little bit of cereal as a reward. Uh, I don't normally eat big breakfasts lately because uh, I've been losing a lot of weight, just basically kind of skipping breakfast. And uh, today just felt like one of those days where I was gonna, I was gonna have some cereal. I was gonna warm myself up. All right, the packages in the mail just came. So we just, I ordered another uh, giant thing of beef jerky. Zero sugar beef jerky, very important to note. So here we've got, boom, that's one package, boom. It's like a QR code system for picking up packages that they send us. So uh, I'm just sending these over to Katie and then just sending these over to Katie and then what I'm planning on doing uh, Lamar Jackson declares himself fully healthy. Well, I'm glad he thinks he's healthy. That's awesome. Let me just send these uh, over there so that uh, Katie can get the mail today. Very important. I just sent you all four of them again in case of whatever. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm ready to actually play. Uh, it's okay, though, because this mission takes literally forever, so not too much lost. I just built a crap ton of overlords to get the pool. No big deal. So I'm playing with a Rainer. He's using bio units, gain 100% extra life, and there are no mules. Interesting. I mean, mules are one of the only mechanics in co-op that actually allow you to get around the pretty restrictive number of uh i mean co-op has a very restricting number of, of resources that you can gather from at any one point in time which to me does make that interesting to think about right like getting rid of mules is rainer i don't know if i'm gonna like that one then again i guess your bio units gain 100 percent health and if it was like a 1v1 tech option i think it would be a lot better and the only reason I say that is because, you know, if you think about it, I mean, if you really think about it, then it stands to reason that in 1v1, that, you know, meals make you mine your bases out faster. They force you to expand more quickly than your opponents. And Terran is actually one of the worst races at taking bases quickly, um, especially these days. So it is interesting to consider at least for multiplayer, I would I would actually be a big fan of something like that. But for co-op, I don't think you gain the same type of benefits just because mule because these mineral patches like don't really mine out. I don't know. Getting five thousand resource patches is pretty. Uh, I I don't know. I'm just gonna say that I think that's plenty. Maybe I'm crazy though. I'm just crazy Nate. Is departing now. It's fully automated, so all you have to do is keep it alive. <laughs> yes, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> oh, <wow. clears throat> Sorry. Don't smoke terrazine, guys. It will it will melt your brain. It will melt your brain. Hostile forces are advancing on my bots. Have they no respect for science? Minerals. Pay your allies are in battle. Please, please, please. Stop the Do the medics have extra Stop. health? Yeah. 120 hit point medics? That is interesting to consider. Oh yeah, these lings are not killing anything. Let's get the upgrades for them. Oh right, I'm getting free bane lings. Right. Right. Not enough minerals. Minerals don't grow on trees, you know. 
Oh, the, the, the harvesting bot is returning now. You'll have to continue guarding it until it arrives. I'll have to continue guarding it until it arrives. Yarsh. Not enough minerals. Now that that's a hard one to protect, right? Returned. Looks like I won the bet this time, Bell Shear. More geysers are going to be active soon. Don't ask how I know that. I just do. I just do. We get the upgrades, upgrades, straight to hive. <laughs> That's how you play Zagara. You don't really spend any time on Lair. There's not any reason to. A new queen has been born. You get too much. There's too many reasons not to want to just stick on Lair tech with Zagara. Her upgrades are what make all of the units like cracked AF. So you need tech for that. I always like this mission in Wings of Liberty campaign just because you get the access to the Goliath from it, the Terrazine mission, and then Goliaths are just kind of like the best all-around units. Although that's why they put you against a decent number of Protoss opponents in the Wings campaigns. Specifically, specifically so that you don't have to, you can't just A move everything with Goliaths. You know what I mean? Excited, we got football season starting in a few weeks. Also to clarify about the coffee I'm drinking today, it is the same as yesterday, just without any mixers in it. It's just, uh, it's pretty much just a straight up medium uh, roast. Uh, Colombian beans, uh, it was roasted a little while ago now, so it's not as fresh as it could be, but I steeped it for 24 hours and now I've just got it sitting in a sealed mason jar in my fridge. Yeah, I'm just drinking it black today. Drinking it black today. As good as the protein chocolate milk is, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't need to consume any extra if I don't need to. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nate, Nate, Nate. Get your upgrades before you spend all your gas on Banelings. Let's get these upgrades. Because those are all very important. Oh, uh, what? They're siphoning the Terrazine from Belshir's fauna. Commanders, try to free it if you can. Commanders, try to free it. Careful. Commanders, it's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Well, the Hyperion will do the trick. Show them no mercy. No mercy, my favorite Left for Dead campaign. So we uh, went through the whole process. We got my brother hooked up. Um, you know, I'm really bad about doing like reselling and stuff on, uh, especially on a lot of my work equipment. But um, we were able to repurpose some of the old parts from the last streaming PC. And I had enough leftover computer parts finally after doing so many builds, rebuilds over the years. My uh, my big brother, we finally got him set up with a dope gaming PC. He's got a 960 uh, Super. He's got, it has a GTX 960 Super. So that's the weakest part, but it's got a Ryzen 2700X CPU. Got him 16 gigs of DDR4 3200. Um, that's his first time actually ever using a gaming computer. So I'm, I'm like, you know, the graphics settings specifically won't be uh, maybe as impressive as you might have originally hoped. Um, but, you know, when the 1080, you know, when the 20 or 30, 3000 series comes out, I'm probably going to give Katie my 2080 Ti. And then I know Katie has a 980 Ti in her machine right now. So I'll be able to send that over to Ant. And he's only got like a 1080p 60 hertz screen, right? So a 980 Ti, a 1080 60 can do any game like maxed out, right? Maybe some of the more new stuff isn't going to be quite that simple, but I feel like if you're watching this and you know what I'm talking about, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, no, that's definitely going to be more than he needs considering that he does, he hasn't developed like a taste for 120 FPS or anything yet. Although maybe at some point, maybe at some point, if I ever do hook, hook him up to that degree, I'm, I'm going to have to. You know, we're gonna we're gonna have to do some other step ups, but I kind of grew up uh, since since we grew up so poor, we're just very used to doing hand me down type stuff. So I'm just like, it's very normal for me to just be like, hey guys, I'm getting a new thing. Instead of selling this, can I can I just give it to you? Right? I was like, I don't know. Do you get? Do you want it? Do you want to buy it off me for for twenty bucks? 
because I know that they can't always get uh, the nicest stuff. So I like being able to do that. I like being able to do that. My little brother's computer also has, uh, I think he bought a 2060 for himself because uh, I gave him the 960 originally when we did this build for my older brother. But yeah. I think my little brother's using the 6700K build that I had. The, yeah, my, the i7 uh, 6700K that I was using for a really long time. I finally, finally uh, finished up with that. Give me carapace. Give me carapace. Let's go. Run on home, little bots. It's a lot of immortals. Zerglings will do the trick though, right? Pass it down. Worth more to help out the fam. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, especially I, I was kind of conflicted because I'm like, okay, well, if NVIDIA raises the prices like crazy high this generation again, then it'll probably be worth. I'll probably be able to sell my 2080 Ti for like 700 bucks, right? So I'm like, at that point, it would be worth it to sell it. And then if I wanted to give something, I know I could just get them a weaker GPU or something like that. But since the 3070 is going to match it in performance, 500 bucks, I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, well, at some point, I guess there's not really going to be too much reason to, to try to sell it because I do need this as a mission critical component for my job until up until the moment, the exact moment that I have the 3090 right in hand. So I can't, <laughs> I can't sell, I can't try to sell it now and get ahead of the wave because then I can't work. I can't, I won't be able to do my job <laughs> until the new graphics cards come out. So unfortunately I can't try to sell it before the demand. Uh, before the demand goes down because I just I just need it that much uh, Considering that my 2080 ti is actually capped by my current streaming setup like it, it, This is gonna sound crazy, but my current streaming setup right now is only limited by my graphics card My current streaming setup is literally only limited by my graphics card My 2080 ti is the bottleneck for my system right now which is wild to think about all the like we can't redo the 4k recordings because the gpu can't handle playing any games while also canvassing in 4k right and sometimes it works a little bit so i mean even a 25 percent performance increase would probably solve that problem for me you know what i mean but the fact that these are you know the 3090 is going to be close to the realm of like you know at least at worst like what 1.9 times as fast almost double the speed possibly even if it only ended up being a 50 percent boost it would still you know we were, we were kind of towing the line barely with uh, the system stability but a 20 a 30 even a 30 percent boost right when they're touting up to possibly a hundred percent that's going to be massive Especially with like NV and C and stuff, being able to offload more streaming things to the graphics card without it being overloaded is going to be nice because the tensor cores are actually a really important part of the of the show. I was just having a lot of issues with the display driver crashing because of that, even though my graphics card, like, just so you guys know, um, I went from my GPU basically cooking itself with that old problem I had with the fan that we talked about in one of the earlier episodes. Now, when I would when I would be playing like COD Warzone with no overclock, my GPU would be getting up to 87 Celsius. It would be, you know, and for uh, for touring, that's really heavily throttling itself, right? Touring and Pascal both like throttle really hard as they start to get hot because that's just the way that their over OC stuff works. But um, what ended up happening is that after I after I fixed the thing with the fan, I also realized that, remember how I said that my fans on my system weren't spinning up because my CPU has the Corsair liquid cooler and my, G, my CPU never gets hot enough for the system fans to get kicked up? Well, I set all of those to um, just run at like 70% all the time because I already have loud fans in this room. I've got, I've got tinnitus from working stage events and all of that stuff. So it helps honestly having fans in the background. Help, that actually helps me. Uh, personally So I don't really mind a little bit of extra noise coming out of the computer <laughs> My fans aren't really loud anyway. The Corsair ones are really nice. I picked up this case like What like a week or two ago a couple weeks? Uh, no, no, no. It was when, I, when I did the rebuild, right? So a couple like a month or two ago um, 
but yeah so i've been i've been really excited about uh about that because you know now that everything's been settled in i've got most of my fans running at minimum 70 percent including my graphics card fan when it's under load uh yesterday my gpu was like unless i was in a very intense area and like cod warzone is a game that really pushes your graphics card a lot because there's some you know you, you you're parachuting out of the sky you can see the whole map your fps tanks that's just a normal thing um or if there's lots of players and whatnot around you a lot of models and models of guns and character models and all that but uh i was i was averaging actually around like 74 celsius yesterday a 13 degree drop also my overclock was on so i went from basically on my msi afterburner profile i had uh like 100 percent power no clock increase no vram increase 87 throttling and now i'm at plus 110 on the core so it's an evga ultra xc 2080 ti so i'm actually getting my 2080 ti up to over 2000 megahertz at seven in the 70s and it doesn't go above that which is crazy with 120 percent power just by literally fixing my fans like that alone did it just because it increased the airflow so much that it was that it's able to dissipate it because the the evga 2080 ti ultra xc was the one that's it's a three slot i have a three slot card so people are like, oh, the 3090 is going to be really big. I'm like, I already have a three slot card. The, the Ultra XCs are massive. It barely fits in the case that I got, but I actually kept the old case. It's right there. You can see it. You can see it right there. It's in the background. The old case is right there. I realized now that due to airflow issues and among other things, possibly wanting to get like a hybrid cooler on my 3090, it makes a lot of sense for me to keep that case because I may end up actually needing it in the uh, foreseeable future, right? So, there's your uh, Nathanius tech rant for today's coffee and co-op while we mind-numbingly just kind of breeze our way through this because our teammate does, in fact, appear to be competent. 44 months and I'm dipping into Vegas tomorrow for a quick 36-hour shoot. We'll send a high five your way dipping when I land Vegas my dude. Dipping into Vegas for a quick shoot tomorrow. Pog and champ. All right, well, if you hit up New York, New York, put $5 on a on one for me all right if you win the 20 million dollar jackpot all i ask for is a small loan of a million dollars now let's use the banelings on buildings it, this cigar meme once you get splitterlings with this this would probably be the most fun thing to do it's just this is just cracked beyond belief You can't build any more units. This costs gas and you need more. Okay, that's fine. Fix that. Thank you for the 44 months, by the way, Dr. Whiskey. Dr. Whiskey's pretty cool. Dr. Whiskey's cool guy. So, Dr. Whiskey, what I'm hearing is that I have a 36-hour window to propose and ask you to be there to take the photos, right? And Katie has this open in the background. She's like, what the... <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Katie has entered the chat. <laughs> Enemy forces. No. And I will even pay you. That's right. Not everybody are heroes, but people who pay freelancers that <laughs> need, that live off of their commission work or whatever. Sorry. What's that cool one? What's that show? Damn it. Who is, is that from the uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, that meme? Not everybody's born cool. Except people who pay their invoices on time. Or if you're the person paying invoices, you would say freelancers who send their invoices in on time. My Corsair sponsor rep shakes his fist angrily at the sky. Need that? 
Please just send us the document so we can pay you. Sorry, I've been out of the country for three weeks in a row. <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> we don't like having backlogs. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know. You guys are great. I'm just very slow. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> Get ready. The enemy's headed for our base. Dude, these AI force fields are not bad, but I mean, some of them were a little egregious, don't you think? They're slow at invoicing or they're slow at paying. Yeah, that's uh, it's it. Sometimes it be like that, though. Sometimes it be like that. Oh my God, those reavers blew me up. But that doesn't matter, no. <laughs> I can't run out of you just can't run out of units with at this rate Slow and steady wins the race mods can't ban me at this pace You just get so many zerglings. It's disgusting. It's disgusting Guten Gaben, ya. It's beautiful and then you get this with splitterlings. We're gonna have splitterlings after this, right? I'm like 99% sure we have splitterlings Great job, young. I'm gonna ask him to see. Do you like that prestige? Are you happy with that? This costs gas and you need more of it. Man, dropping mules feels too good though. I don't know. It's okay. That's what I would say. Okay. Thanks for the honesty. It's okay. I, that's how I felt. I'm like, that looks like it would be okay. It doesn't look like it would be great because you know what I mean? It's like, if you can increase your income by 300%, then you can theoretically increase your production by 300%. But the prestige only increases the health of your bio by 100%. So it stands to reason that if you have the ability to get enough mules, which would be, I would wager the equivalent of maybe three or four extra orbitals, that alone would give you the income difference to overcome the lost hit points of not having that prestige. Am I crazy? You know? Like, Rainer just never felt like the character that needed more economy. But I can see that the reason why you might go with that prestige, if I was going to play devil's advocate against myself right now, in the same sentence, that prestige for Rainer is probably going to be best on uh, a mutator where you're like, I really want to play Rainer. But there's going to be like those little fire bombs that pop up or something, you know, or like the firecracker mutator, the one that just does AOE damage all the time. Having extra health on your bios may be going to be better in those cases. Because then instead of all your marines popping to like three fireworks, you know, you'll lose maybe half their health. So I can see longevity wise that would be better. Uh, or on a map where you can't do it as well, like Dead of Night might even be a good one if you're like fire bats. But yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. Uh, we did unlock splitterlings, guys. So that means the next video, because Broodmother does not actually have any impact on this, really. So... I'm going to probably play a co-op mission um, off stream to get to level 15. And then we can do the final episode because we've unlocked everything for this prestige. This level 15 doesn't really matter for Zagara on this. So thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Coffee and Co-op. I will see you next time.